hello everyone in today's video i will discuss about the max horkheimer's the critical theory as in the previous two videos i discussed about the introduction about the frankfurt school of thought or critical theory and uh, a particular theme of the uh, frankfurt school that mainly uh, that mainly highlighted by the lucas in today's video i will uh, start again another series in this critical theory that is the uh, max horkheimer because max horkheimer is considered as the we considered as one of the founding one of the founding theorist of the frankfurt school of thought or one of the uh, one of the uh, prominent name in the development of critical theory horkheimer along with the adorno developed the developed a different uh, kind of thought and that later uh, laterly uh, called as critical theory uh, and that is how uh, and that is why we will have to understand the max horkheimer and adorno particularly to to get the proper understanding about the critical theory or frankfurt school of thought now uh, there are basically two approaches in the frankfurt school one is by max horkheimer another one is by adorno and many more uh, thinkers are there that we will discuss in other videos but in today's video i will just focus on the max horkheimer so let's let's begin max horkheimer wanted to or wanted to establish a philosophically informed social sciences interdisciplinary social sciences he wanted to establish a social science that practices that practices the philosophical theories that uh, that deals with the philosophical uh, theories now question comes this from what or from uh, how the critical word attached with his theory that is how this critical theory was named he wanted to uh, define that the critical theory is named as critical because it it tends to it tends to criticize the present situation it tends to critically analyze the present situation but here critical does not only means the criticism here critical word uses not just for uh, making a general criticism no he used this understanding of uh, critical uh, from the kantian philosophy that is kantian critical philosophy so this critical the critical concept or this critical notion is mainly adopted from kantian philosophy or we can say the uh, the german idealism from kantian to hegel so that we will discuss in any other video that we will have elaborate video on the uh, the idealism of kantian to hegel and from this idealism how marxism developed and the uh, critical theory developed that will have a separate video on these things but i am not going in th in this direction i am just taking uh, a direction in a more simple way because this is the introductory video so basically he took this idea of criticism that is critical from the uh, idea from the from the kantian idealism or from the kantian idea of the critical philosophy so critical here uh, means according to kant or kantian philosophy uh, signifies two things that is one is the object of the criticism or critical uh, practice another one is subject of the critical practice so what is the object of the critical practice the object of the critical practice is reason what is the subject of critical practice subject of the critical practice is also reason that means the critical analysis or critical practice mainly focuses upon the reason and this reason is also this reason is also the subject means this reason is also carries out or carries forward the the practice of the practice of critical analysis so this is how he used the uh, this is how this is uh, uh, th this is the reason why he used the critical uh, word or he was a critical notion in his theory and that is how it became the critical theory because this critical theory was uh, was a was a uh, opposition or it's a kind of the antithesis to the positivistic thought 
or positivist thought that we will discuss in this video in later part. So that is uh, why it is a critical theory. It is critical theory because it's, it, it, it analyzes, it critically analyzes the situation. It critically analyzes the society. It critically analyzes the, the uh, social, uh, social laws underlies. It critically analyzes the things as well as the persons. It do not just uh, get a record of the visible, uh, visible facts or visible social phenomena. Rather, it goes deeper into the matter uh, and use the reason, use the reason to critically analyze this. Also, critically analyze the reason and reason itself critically analyzes here reason plays as agent as well as the object. So, Max Horkheimer's critical theory basically is, uh, is account of is a kind of is, is account of reason critical analysis of the of the uh, critical analysis of the foundation of the social situation or the foundation of the social inequality that exists or the domination in the society that exists. That is what the social laws, what social, uh, what social, the, uh, what social laws that exist underlies in the domination process. It, it is not just a description again, it is not just a description. This critical analysis is not just a description about the situation of domination or inequality. It also instigates the forces, it also instigates the forces to know the or to acquire the knowledge about this underlying, underlying laws behind the domination and also, also, uh, also shows the path of the emancipation. So that means this critical uh, theory is the analysis of the analysis of the situation, critical analysis of the situation or critical analysis through theoretical practices that has connection with the practical uh, reality. But here may be a confusion arises that critical theory just merely means the, the analysis of the situation of domination or inequality in the capitalist society and, uh, a, 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 and, the, and the way of the and the way of the resisting the capitalist society or way of the way of uh, way of showing the opposition to it no it's not just that it is more than this that i already told you that it is more than this because here uh, the philosophical idea of the critical philosophy he uh, adopted from the Kantian uh, the idealism and that is uh, that is affected or that is what to say uh, influenced his understanding influence his the uh, influence his work in the context of Marxism in uh, in Max Horkheimer's works we also found the uh, the dichotomy between the critical theory and the traditional theory and apart from it we also found two other dichotomies that is the 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 distinction between idealism and materialism and irrationalism and rationalism now as we already mentioned that he follows the idealism of the german uh, german ideology idealism school of philosophy uh, so it differentiated from the materialism again materialism is of two types one is the reductive materialism another one is dialectical materialism reductive materialism that reduces every this reduces every uh, phenomena into uh, just the superficial uh, superficial the object and that can be that can be examined that can be studied objectively but the dialectical uh, materialism that practices the critical analysis and critical theory critical theory took its idea from this dialectical materialism so on the other hand reductive materialism is mainly a kind of empiricism is a pure empiricism that focuses on the ultimate reality that focuses on the superficial reality that exists that is visible and it's, uh, it 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 uh, grasps all these things objectively but 
dialectical materialism is different. So, see, so Max Horkheimer wanted to wanted to uh, reform the or wanted to reformulate the idealism uh, from the influence of the reductive materialism and uh, wanted to take this idealism towards the dialectical materialism. So, this is how he made a differences, but he wanted to refine the mat idealism from the dialectical uh, materialism. So, then there are uh, two, uh, two uh, another distinction is between uh, irrationalism and rationalism. Rationalism is also uh, the part of the idealism. This rationalism or rational idealism, rational idealism are uh, these idealism which are uh, which follows the uh, or which are the the Kantian and Kantian to Hegel basically. This Kant to Hegel, Hegel's uh, the philosophy uh, which mainly developed in the period are considered as the rationalist idealism. But other than this, there are many other uh, the, the idealism called romanticism and more that we will uh, discuss later. This comes as the uh, irrationalism, irrational idealism. So, his main focus was on rational idealism and he wanted to uh, relieve the idealism from the reductive, the materialism and wanted to take, uh, take it towards the uh, dialectical materialism that is the critical analysis. So, he used this uh, idea of the idealism to, to, uh, to understand or to elaborate his theory of the critical, uh, critical analysis or critical critical theoretical practice. Now, which, uh, which one is reductive materialism? Here, positivist thought is the reductive materialism because positivist thought focuses on the focuses on the scientific scientific the method or scientific principles of the of the rationality positivist thought focuses on the empiricism but horkheimer's idea of the critical theory diverted from this reductionist the materialism that is positivist thought and uh, chosen the dialectical materialism to uh, to define or to redefine the idealism because according to him this dialectical materialism allows the analysis or the critical analysis of the situation critical analysis of the condition critical analysis of the history by involving both the things and the persons. So, that is how the Max Horkheimer chosen this dialectical materialism. So, that is so in the next point will be there is how Max Horkheimer uh, completely opposed completely opposed the positivist thought. So, positivist thought basically uh, depends on the empiricism and that in other words we can say the scientific method scientific principles that the the facts that we that is visible facts that experiences by the people can be recorded only so positivist thought ignores or denies the existence of existence of the reason existence of the existence of the universals here universals means the means the uh, universal ideas, universal uh, social laws. It just focuses on the particularism, it focuses on the particular reality, particular uh, situation. Empiricism or positivist thought just focuses on the particularism, particular uh, situation and records the situation as it is, as it happens. But it do not link this situation with the previous, with the past or the future. It do not, uh, it do not uh, speculates in relation to the, in relation to the thought or doing critical analysis. It just records the superficial reality or surface reality. But dialectical materialism that the Horkheimer uh, developed into the critical theory 
basically looks into the looks into the uh, human human uh, background human uh, human the bottom or foundation in the non non human things non human things he also considered and the human things also he considered that is the relations of the persons and the relations of the uh, relations of the uh, relations of the things so in capitalist society basically uh, the things had interaction things are uh, things are uh, related to each other there is different economic forces the political forces they have relationship but this relationship among the forces of the economic field and political field uh, is mainly determined by the human force so human force also has to be understood and there was a linkage uh, that has to be understood from the historical from the historical point of view so horkheimer basically focuses on the critical analysis of the situation because his understanding his understanding of the capitalist society was not just on the basis of the or basis of the the superficial uh, visible domination of the capitalist over the proletariat and proletariat's the revolution against the against the capitalist no he tried to he tried to analyze the ideology he tried to analyze the social conditions behind it he tried to understand social laws underlies it and how it it uh, evolved from feudalism to capitalism and uh, then how it changed changed in the 1930s because of the because of the downfall of the weimar germany and the rise of the fascism and how again the fascism ended the totalitarian state and uh, reemerged the liberal democracy so all these things he he discussed uh, through critical analysis through his idea of the idealism through his idea of the critical and uh, idea of the reason he found there is the linkage of the linkage of thoughts linkage of the ideas or linkage of social conditions uh, between past present and even in the future and max max horkheimer also the also uh, criticized the a uh, positivist thought that is the the orthodox marxism who uh, believes in the positivist thought or who claims themselves as scientific uh, scientific theorist for their for their uh, over emphasis for their over emphasis on the empiricism because according to him this the positivist thought or this uh, this uh, scientific uh, scientific thought uh, in the marxism is actually is actually the means or the conditions used by the bourgeoisie these are actually bourgeoisie thought max horkheimer considers these as the bourgeoisie thought because bourgeoisie do not fear do bourgeoisie cannot actually cannot actually wear the critical uh, analysis cannot wear the reason they cannot wear the wear the reason they can just tolerate it but to a extent up to the up to the struggle once they achieve or attain the power they can tolerate the they can tolerate the the reason the critical analysis so that is how they prof they propagates the empiricism the scientific method scientific principles that only that only uh, tells the scientist tells the theorist to go for superficial reality and records it and describes it accordingly but critical theory tries to analyze the critically tries to understand the social conditions behind it how it has linked with different regimes different power 
the structures in the germany and the world and this is how max horkheimer started to develop his critical theory so i hope i explained it in a brief way but it will be continued in the next video there will be numbers of videos over this issue the issue of the critical theory of the max horkheimer and then we will also discuss over the adorno's theory the marcuse's theory then habermas's theory so numbers of videos will come so please do watch and subscribe the channel like the video and put your comment thank you very much